this is a disclaimer to all you guys this video is going to expose some youtubers on top of that it's going to expose a company and on top of that i'm pregnant and i can say whatever i want and if i wasn't pregnant anyway i said whatever i want because it's all about consumer power and i'm about to go ahead and empower you guys so let's get started hey guys it's me tina marie with true meaning of radiance i am not in my normal filming area i do apologize because i have to make this video real quick because i have to go to work but this video is response to karina kaboom if you guys have not heard and this is something like that shocked me well, kind of shocked me but didn't because i know some of these youtubers ain't about that life when they say they are but um karina kaboom uh wrote a review about gerard cosmetics so basically he's on snapchat recording this girl's r review saying oh she trying us because she's telling the truth about gerard cosmetics which the truth is not always told about gerard cosmetics i'll tell y'all about that in a minute but she's being 100% honest that she did not like the products. It was drying on her lips. And basically the owner, Jen Gerard, who was sitting right next to him, uh, basically called the girl ugly. She called her ugly. Consumers. And a lot of us are consumers of Gerard Cosmetics. I have my order right here. I got this like a month and a half ago. I haven't reviewed it yet because I've been reviewing a lot of other things for you guys. But this week, this Saturday, a review on Gerard Cosmetics will come out. And don't worry, all this instance that's going on, I will not use against the company. I'm even wearing the lip gloss today. And this is in Cocoa Bean. So I, I'm starting my review now. I'm going to wear the lip gloss two days and then I'm going to do three days on the lipstick. Just so y'all be looking out for that video. But she called the girl ugly because the girl made a review that was not favorable to her. The first thing is this. And then, before I even go there, and then Aunt Manny MUA a couple hours later say bullying is wrong. But you posted a video of you bullying another YouTuber and you're going to say bullying is wrong. So you're talking out two sides of your neck, first off. Um, but I, I'm going to come back to that. But you're a business owner, Jen. Um, and as being a business owner, you need to accept constructive criticism. Now, the reason why you guys don't see too many videos of negative reviews on Gerard Cosmetics is because these higher paid YouTubers are actually told in their contract or agreement with Gerard Cosmetics that they are not allowed to talk about a product they did not like. So that drying lipstick that Karina bought, hey, the, the YouTuber could have got it and it was drying on them too, but they're not allowed to talk about that. So let's think about that. We're given youtubers money we're believing what these people with 300,000 400,000 500,000 subscribers are telling us so y'all are believing what they're telling you for one and then for two they're not being 100% honest with you and they say oh this is my honest opinion no this is your honest opinion on a few of the products but what's your full honest opinion on the whole line and my problem is if you cannot take constructive criticism you should not be in this field you should not be into beauty. You should not be into makeup. You should not be in the field if you can't take constructive criticism. It is what it is. That's how brands become better. They listen to the reviews. Instead of Jen, you having an attitude about the girl not liking your lipstick, you should have listened to what she had to say. Looked at a couple other reviews of normal consumers because the normal consumers are the people that's buying your stuff. The YouTubers are getting the stuff for free and they're sending people to you. And what they're doing is hurting their credibility. So uh, bigger YouTubers, y'all need to view this as well and realize that us consumers are starting to notice what you're doing and what's going to happen. Your subscriber count is going to drop. And on top of that, you're going to make less money because the commissions you get are going to dwindle because we're going to realize that we don't need to be listening to y'all. And I've been telling y'all my subscribers subscribers do not believe what a lot of these youtubers tell you do your research i've been telling y'all that for a while now do your research and it's funny now that it's all starting to come out full forth and i'm loving it and for y'all if y'all want to call me ugly honey call me ugly all day because you ain't paying my mortgage you ain't paying my car now you ain't paying my electric or my gas so you can call me whatever you want okay i'm a child of god and i ain't got nothing to fear when it comes to somebody talking about me on snapchat so make sure you get a good picture okay Put that on your Snapchat. That's all I got to say about that. It was completely high school. It was completely high school. And for a grown behind woman to even partake in it and a business owner at that, you are held to a higher standard than Manny. Manny is at a lower standard than you because he is just a consumer as well, but he makes money off YouTube. You are held a lot higher than he is because you're a business owner and you're trying to make money off us, the consumers. But when we make honest reviews about your company, instead of taking them into consideration to improve your product, so we'll be happy and we'll continue to buy, what did you do? You called someone ugly. 
and what's ugly is your heart because that's very ugly and anybody that's going on the Gerard Cosmetics page asking about it you're getting blocked. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to be coming out with a review at the end of this week like I said on Saturday about Gerard Cosmetics because I did make a purchase. I made a purchase. I'm a consumer as well and I want to let you guys know honestly what I think and I'm not going to let this whole uh, YouTube drama Manny MUA gin thing um, cloud my decision but I'm going to bring y'all how I honestly feel about the cosmetics at the end of the week um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm going to leave that is rad's video down below because that's who I saw first who told me well basically told the instance and I'm so happy she did she has 35,000 subscribers but she still keeps it 100 and I love it um, I'll leave her link below so you can hear firsthand what happened and you'll see the insert of Manny's Snapchat and I'll leave Karina Kaboom's video um, down below and definitely I always support people that keep it 1000 on their videos and on their reviews because I spend my hard earned money for this stuff and I want to know the truth and unfortunately these bare YouTubers they don't have honesty in them because they want to make money. Um, there is some out there that, don't get me wrong, there's some out there that will keep it honest. And such as Emily Noel, she'll tell a company straight up, if I'm going to do a review for you, I'm going to tell the truth, the good, the bad, the ugly. And I love that. So to the people that do it and they do it the right way, big ups to y'all. To y'all following a lot of YouTubers who are supporting Gerard Cosmetics and they're not telling you 100% of the truth because they're not telling you the products they don't like. You may want to reconsider before you buy things that they're telling you. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe. And I'm glad this was kind of peaceful. I'm very peaceful about this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.